Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today's video will be pretty simple and special. I'd like to dedicate it to my Koala friends that have been helping me and supporting me as well as encouraging me throughout 2020 because it hasn't been an easy year for me and I really appreciate every single one of you all who messaged me and showed concern for me. So I'm really glad that I made some good friends on Koala and discovered myself a lot better because without you guys I think I probably would just give up on this channel and give up on uploading videos as a whole. So 2020 is coming to an end really soon. Christmas has just passed so happy late Merry Christmas everyone and a happy new year. I hope 2021 can be better for you and for me because 2020 hasn't been a great year. So I would like to share a little bit more about myself. You may know me as the person who likes to do hairstyling videos here and there and also talking a little bit about lifestyle and I hope you guys know a little bit more about me. So you know, I started using Koala shortly after my 17th birthday because I wanted to know more about certain questions as I am a curious person and I always like to search questions online. And the first thing I see was Koala. So I thought maybe I should set up an account and just ask my questions and I didn't expect myself to actually make any friends or get any followers or anything but I am thankful that you all have followed me and you all have actually cared for me as a person. It really is heartwarming because I have no actual real life friends or quarrel. I just started off as a person from my own country. Maybe there are one or two people from Singapore where I am from but I mostly make friends from other countries such as the United States, India, Philippines and some of you all are from Asia as well and I really like it that we all have diverse backgrounds but we are all able to be connected through Quora and be friends with each other. So I know that Quora also has quite a number of weirdos and I have some female friends that actually told me about it and I understand that it's also not a very safe place when you want to make friends but I believe that there are also nice people out there which I am thankful that I have met many of them so that's why I'm doing this video. So I really appreciate you all and I'd like to tell you all a little bit more about my 2020. So well, this year hasn't been easy for me. At the start of the year, I was trying to grow my old channel which I kind of ditched it already because it wasn't going anywhere and I actually deleted my Instagram because I was actually very concerned about my own safety and mental well-being. So right now, the only Instagram I use is for Asian Style Guy and a private one that I personally use because I only trust close friends for that. And I'm a lot happier to be honest, using less of time on social media and focusing on my schoolwork and making meaningful friendship out of the online world. And I really encourage everyone to try their best to make friends as well offline if you can. At the start of 2020, I kind of got a lot of hate because I wanted to try out new things on my old channel and people were giving me a lot of mean comments and making fun of me and I got a lot of dislikes for no reason and that is partially the reason why I don't really upload on this channel now because I'm a little bit scared and conscious about that but here I am today being natural and just trying my best to converse with you all out there. I know you all are awesome people because I have talked to quite a few of you and you know who you are. I'll not be naming names because I want to protect your privacy and it is really amazing to see you guys here and I hope that if we ever meet in real life we can actually hang out as friends because I want to get to know you all more in the future. So I hope that 2021 there isn't any more pandemic and COVID-19 can just go away smoothly and we all can resume our normal life again. I really miss traveling towards so, the middle. Things got a little bit better but still not very good. I had a lot of missed opportunities and I couldn't go to many events which made my life really boring this year. And I think many of you all can relate to this. I tried my best to improve on myself, do things that are meaningful such as making videos on hairstyling and I actually kind of grew out my hair for most part of this year because I wanted to try out new hairstyles and I'm inspired by a lot of celebrity hairstyles and I really enjoy them. That is why I'm trying to make good content based on hair and I am appreciative that you all are watching and you are supporting me for this. 
So it's actually comments like this and this that actually make me really, really thankful and really motivated to actually do videos on YouTube and especially on this channel. I think at least half of you all from Kuala are actually subscribed to my channel and you all are watching, liking because I really feel that in my own country and in my own school environment, not many people support me. So I'm in a polytechnic right now which is kind of like a college educational level and I am actually struggling to make real life friends because of the pandemic. My school started off online, I didn't get to mingle around with my classmates much and it was a new school, new environment, it was really awkward and I have to say that I am one of those people that actually got outcasted after a while due to the misunderstandings and people couldn't accept me for doing YouTube. So I kind of kept a low profile right now from the people that are actually in my school life and I only share my channel with close friends and thankfully you call our friends are people that I really trust and I appreciate. So I also kind of got scammed at the middle of 2020 because I was in a vulnerable spot and this friend of mine who claimed to help me earn money would actually introduce me to a pyramid scheme or MLM type of thing and it was really sad. I lost over $500 and I felt that it wasn't working out and obviously they would keep telling me to refer to more people, get more people to join in but I wasn't in for that. So I left and I felt really dumb because I actually gave in to that sort of nonsense and it wasn't good. So yeah, afterwards I tried my best to pick myself up and continue doing what I like which is making more videos and also talking to more people online. And to say the least, there are nice people online, however, I met a lot of other weirdos and mean people that actually ghost you and also spread gossips about you online, which is really mean and I don't wish anyone to ever go through that because it's not a great experience. So to all my Quora friends, thank you all for your time watching this video. It's really amazing to see you all and I'm really thankful for those who are supporting my spaces as well. I am the owner of two spaces. One is YouTube Sub for Sub, which is actually growing really well and the other one is Teenagers Dating. So if you want to actually find a date or make new friends, you can actually join that. So if you are from Quora and you are new watching this, please hit me up on Quora and on Instagram and I really hope to get engaged with all of you because you are awesome and precious people. I know you guys will be rocking 2021 and the rest of the days of your life well. I hope that we all can meet each other soon and continue to engage with each other more. Alright, see you guys soon. Goodbye.